Hello, traders. Welcome back to Simply Forex. It's Friday. We've made it. Uh, I might finally get over my man flu over the weekend. I haven't mentioned this enough. Um, today is Friday, the 17th of November, to be exact. And as always, we're going to look back at yesterday's trades. We're going to look at today's potential trades. And we're going to look at the important news for today as well. Strap in. Let's do this. So yesterday was all about weekly US dollar levels, yeah, which don't necessarily translate to the day charts. Okay, but so let's start with the weekly levels because this is what it was all about. So this was Aussie dollar, US dollar. And if you just follow price structure, you know, we were in a downtrend, lower lows. We were back at these highs, you know, and we're starting to see a, a bearish reaction in here. It's such a nice level, guys. You've got, an, you know, you've got a horizontal piece of resistance and a moving average 20. Okay. So that was the catalyst for the trade, really. Because if you look at the day chart, you know, day chart is in an uptrend. Yeah. You don't, you know, clearly in an uptrend however it wasn't breaking these last highs and that's always a red flag guys and ever since then you know we've had this candle and this candle it will still be a trade idea for today guys so you can see we're getting a real bearish reaction at this weekly level the problem with this yesterday guys was the news we will see it better on the h1 so you know we got the break so this was good. We got the break of this H1 level, which we were looking for. Yeah. And then we was looking for a retrace. And then I'm just looking for a candle to tell me sellers are in control. Um, and we didn't really get a candle until this one. But this was literally the hour before the news coming out. Then the news came out and we got this bullish candle, you know, breaking this high. Therefore, you know, breaking a H1 structure, but then price comes shooting back down again. And it just made the whole trade difficult to take for all of those reasons. Yeah, we had structure breaks to the upside. We had news come out. Um, however, you know, sellers still drove this back down. Okay. And you can see it's formed this level here now. Okay. So we'll be looking for a break of this today. Um so, yeah, that was Aussie dollar, US dollar, but difficult to trade. And it was the same with New Zealand dollar, US dollar, because of news and structure, etc. But this is the same trade. We need to show you the weekly chart, you know, pretty much identical, really, guys. They're obviously highly correlated, um, New Zealand, US dollar and Aussie dollar, US dollar. But clearly in a downtrend, lower lows, price come back up, tested these last highs, double whammy resistance we got the moving average 20 and we got this horizontal resistance level you know and again we're starting to see a bearish reaction if we go down to the day chart now you know this bearish reaction was you know really come to fruition word of the day um not only was we seeing this candle the day before but then look at this candle guys yeah super bearish so the trade idea is the same uh, but again, guys, if we go back to the H1, yeah, so again, we were looking for a break of this level. Yeah, we got the break. We got the retest. I needed a candle to tell me sellers were in control. Again, probably this candle. But then news come out. Bang. H1 structure change. And then it come flying back down as well. So again, difficult to trade, but it's broken this level now. Okay, so again, looking for a retrace to come lower. But yesterday it was difficult. And it also, if I show you on the H4, guys, you know, after the news, look at these, look at this H4 candle. You know, not really a H4 candle you want to sell, but it just goes to show how strong sellers are. Yeah, they still took it back down after that candle. Um, so there you go, guys. That was New Zealand US dollar. And we're also looking at gold as well. So, you know, we were looking for US dollar strength. Um, but gold, you know, as we know, have a has a mind of its own recently. So we were looking for sales, yeah, for this reason. We was in an uptrend. Yeah, and then price broke down and come back to this level. And we got a nice bearish candle, and the idea was to come lower. 
Okay. If we drop down to the H1 now, yeah, you you know, we were looking for price to potentially break down here, which it never did. And then price after the news just shot off. Yeah, it did not come back down. So gold, you know, again, I'm looking for something to tell me to start selling. And, and none of this price action was telling me to start selling. News came out. And then once we break these highs, etc., you know, definitely not interested in gold. So it didn't have a setup. I'm going to show you one trade that I did take. You know, and everything was indicating to sell this pair. So just quickly, guys. Yeah, we were in an uptrend. Bang, downtrend, lower lows. Price come back up. We got a nice bearish reaction. Yeah, and the idea was to, well, we got two bearish candles. And the idea was to come potentially, you know, almost back down to this level. Okay, because we was with structure. We were seeing bearish candles. And then I just want to show you these H4 candles. You know, like everything was telling me to short this. And, you you know, it's, this is a perfect example of, you know, you can have, uh, you know, you can get all the, the best setup, you, you know, you can imagine. But the trade can still go against you. You know, look at H4. We was in a downtrend break. We broke these lows. Guys, if that's that's thunder you can hear, I want to point this out. We have got rain and thunder and lightning in Dubai. This doesn't happen. I like dramatic weather. Um, anyway, back to this trade. And then price come back up to the moving average 20. It was also a nice fib level. But and then at that moving average 20, look at those candles. Yeah. If I went back in time. Yeah. And I was said to you guys, what should we do with Euro New Zealand dollar right now? You'd be like, Tom, sell that. Yeah, you'd be like, sell it, Tom. Sell, 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 sell. And that's what I was trying to do. Okay. And then we come back and look at those candles. Totally broken that level. So I'm hedged in this trade, guys. Yeah, this is a trade I took yesterday. Um, so there you go, guys. Those are the trades from yesterday. Let's take a look at today's trades now. Guys, if you enjoyed yesterday's analysis, then please come join the channel. We would love to have you. If you could smash that subscribe button, uh, also smash the notification button so you receive an alert every time we post a vid, guys. And if everyone could please smash the like button. Really help support the channel and the vid. Dankeschan, shukran, gracias, merci. I think I've covered all languages. <laughs> um, so trades for Friday the 17th of November, guys. Uh, before I get started, let me just mention a few things that our channel does. So first of all, guys, we've got the free Discord channel. It's free. Come join it. We've got traders in there sharing knowledge, ideas. We've got books. We've got indicators. We've got useful links. Loads of cool things, guys. Come join the free Discord. The link is in the video description. Um, next, guys, we've also got the VIP Discord channel, okay? Um, you do have to pay for this, but you get access to me throughout the trading day, as in you can ask me questions if you're stuck or need help. Um, I give you my trade ideas as and when they happen, okay? Um, we also give you exclusive content every single week. We uh, have a trading academy, which is full of tutorials, and you get access to a performance coach, and we're test driving some um, new strategies and other strategies in the near future. So, guys, loads of value in the VIP Discord. Come check it out. Come join it. The link is in the video description. Um, next, guys, if you would like to be coached one-on-one -on -one with myself and learn how to read the charts like I do, then drop us an email and I'll send you the details of the mentorship program. The email is in the video description. And also, guys, um, if you watch the live streams, you watch the analysis vid every day, then why not show your support, guys? You can become a Simply Forex YouTube member. We've got supporter and gold membership, and both have lots of perks, guys. So check that out as well. Um, yeah, it's all in the video description. Guys, my trade ideas today are going to feel a little bit like deja vu, okay? It's still, for me, well, first and foremost, the charts. Yeah, the charts are super volatile. You, they're, they're like going in one direction, and then they come crashing down in the other direction, and then they go crashing back up again. 
the charts are tricky at the moment. It's real risk on, risk off, um, which makes it whipsawry. Yeah. So it's very tricky, very treacherous markets at the moment, guys. So we need to tread lightly. It's been a tricky week, couple of weeks, guys, I would say. So um, with that in mind, yeah, the, I've only got a couple of trade ideas for today. And these are weekly plays. And again, it's to do with the dollar index. OK, so if you can look at the dollar index here, see the weekly chart, kapow, kapow, we're at a very nice level to potentially see dollar strength. OK, you know, this could potentially come back up to here. All right. So. And you can see here, guys, we've got the moving average 20 and this horizontal support. And this dollar index level is translated into some of the, the US dollar majors as well. Most of the US dollar majors are at an interesting weekly level. Okay, But I've chose two in particular, and they are the same ones as from yesterday, guys. So the first one is Aussie dollar, US dollar. I know I've shown you these already, guys, but let's recap you know, weekly chart. Yeah, look at this. It's clearly in a downtrend and it's come back up and tested these last highs. And we've got a horizontal level of resistance plus the moving average 20. All right. So it's at a really nice weekly level, as is the dollar index. And it's in a weekly downtrend. If we look at the day chart now, you could see, look, sellers are taking control of this market. We had this doji followed by this bearish candle. Yeah, sellers are in control, okay? And for that reason, we've got a weekly level. Sellers are taking control of the day chart. We are in a daily uptrend. That is worth mentioning. Mentioning in, I think that's what I meant to say. Again, medication, guys. I've got man flu. I don't know if I've mentioned this. And very long man flu. You know, normally a few days, I'm all right, but this is sticking around. Anyway, you don't really care about that. Um, yeah, so we're going to try and take price again. Trade idea hasn't changed, guys. Back down to this 6400 psychological level. Um, if we drop down to the H4, let's drop down to the H1, actually. Yeah, so yesterday we had our grey zone that broke. We got a retest, but then it was tricky price action. And now, guys, you can see the market has shown its hand again. It said this level is important because it keeps holding. So we've got a couple of ways we can trade this. We get a break of this level, retest, come lower, or price could make it back up into not just this grey zone, but any of this grey zone. Yeah, it could test these last highs in here. We get a bearish reaction, and then we start selling. Okay. Um, and the only other trade today, guys, is New Zealand US dollar. And that's, you know, identical to Aussie dollar US dollar pretty much. So let's start with the weekly chart, though, so you can see what I'm talking about. Weekly downtrend. Yeah. You know, lower lows. Come back up. Tested these highs. Hasn't broken these highs. At a very nice horizontal resistance level and moving average 20. We're getting a bearish reaction here, um, which you'll be able to see on the day chart. Let's go to the day chart. You know, sellers are taking control at this level okay that is a super duper bearish candle and again super duper in all of the economic books i think it's a phrase from warren buffett <laughs> um so yeah there you go guys sellers are in control if we drop down to the h4 okay well let's look at the h4 because you can clearly see we've had a h4 break which is powerful stuff but also, if we drop down to the H1, you can see our entry is a bit clearer. So unlike Aussie dollar, US dollar, this is already broken these lows. OK, so we could get a retest back to this level. Yeah, we get a bearish reaction and then we can start coming lower. Or price might want to come higher, it might want to come back up to these highs here, this grey zone, and then we get a bearish reaction and then we come lower, guys. All right. So, yeah, Aussie dollar New and New Zealand dollar against the US dollar shorts is what we're looking for, guys. And it's a weekly play. Yeah, because some of you guys pointed out, you're like, Tom, but the day is in an uptrend. I get that. Yeah. But it's this weekly level that's interesting us. 
Um, and other than that, guys, not a lot about it. it you know, it, it the, the market has been like in a funk. We can trade for a bit in a funk. We can trade for a bit in a funk. So it's been tricky, guys. But um, but there you go. You know that, that the, we we you know we have to give we have to do what the market gives us guys all right um and also guys yeah don't forget we've got well firstly please subscribe to the channel we would love to have you also smash the like button guys help support the vid don't forget the cool things we do we've got the free discord the vip discord the mentorship program and the simply forex youtube membership all of these things are in the video description let's check out the news now so news for friday the 17th of november uh, it's quite a busy news day guys really so first piece of news we're interested in is this at seven o'clock london gmt all of this data coming out of the UK, core retail sales, retail sales, month on month, year on year, all of this data together is going to move the pound, guys, yeah? So must be aware of that if you're in any pound trades. Um, if we carry on down, more big news, 10 o'clock, London GMT, coming out of the euro, we've got CPI month on month, year on year, and core CPI year on year. So again, all of this together really powerful stuff for the euro guys as you know inflation is very important at the moment so that's going to really move the euro guys and then after that um at 1 30 london gmt again we've got more we've got lots of news coming out at the same time the m most important one is building permits but we've also got building permits month on month housing starts etc so all of this news together can really move the us dollar pairs and then after that, guys, no other real news we're interested in. Unless you trade oil and these Baker Hughes oil rig counts are important. Uh, so there you go, guys. Um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the vid, guys. If you have, please subscribe, like, and share with your trader friends. Have a great trading day and a great weekend. And I'll see you soon, guys.